It's been said that no matter how big you get, no matter how far you've come, no matter how great your accomplishments may be, that you better never, ever forget where you came from. And that seems like that's the exact thing that's happening with Todd Gurley, with him scheduled to visit the Baltimore Ravens, because we all know that he's from the crib. He's from Baltimore. I mean, excuse me, no. He's from Baltimore. My, my father, I got to make sure I say it the right way. I've been in Florida so long, that Maryland accent is long gone. But anyway, Todd Gurley is scheduled to visit with the Ravens today. And what does this even mean for the Ravens? What does this mean for Todd Gurley? What does it mean for other running backs on the team? How could he fit in? We're getting ready to talk about all of that. But before we get into this video, please tell somebody that you love them. Please tell your people that you love them, that you care about them, and even just that you're thinking about them. Because a small, a tiny, tiny, tiny message like that could have a huge impact. You just never know. Because like we always say, people are going through so much stuff. So much stuff that they face on a daily basis. And you sharing a positive word of encouragement, you sharing something uplifting with them, you just being nice. It can go a super, super long way. Please don't forget that. That's very, very important just in life, period. Anyway, I love y'all and I appreciate y'all. So, Todd Gurley to the Baltimore Ravens for a visit, for a visit. It's not a signing yet. What could this mean? Now, my guy Terrence, he chimed in. He said, man, Todd Gurley, what are your thoughts on that? I always say add to your strengths. I knew it. This is the big move right here. And running is certainly the Ravens' strength. That is their bread and butter. And last year, when I thought that, I'm like, there's no way that they're going to keep four running backs. There's, there's, no, there's no way that they're going to do that. Because I was like, they're, they're not keeping Mark Ingram and uh, Gus Edwards and J.K. Dobbins and Justice Hill. I was like, oh, no. Because as soon as they drafted uh, J.K. Dobbins, I was thinking, oh, man, Gus Edwards about to be out. They about to trade him. And I am so glad, so glad <laughs> that I was wrong. But bringing in a Todd Gurley, what could that mean? Now, one of the things that I first thought of was, okay, is uh, do we have any running backs that are injured? And no, we haven't heard anything about that. I mean, they, that photo of J.K. Dobbins and then the video to follow shortly after of him mossing Malik Harrison. And you just feel so bad for Malik Harrison, too. Because the photo, they, they tagged J.K. Dobbins. They had him all up in the air and it just said, sheesh. And I mean, when we looked at it, that's the same thing we said. Sheesh. Uh, but Malik Harrison was just standing there like, oh, man, why did they get me in this? And he just fell for me. And then, of course, the video surfaced and then that made it look even worse. Uh, but anyway, J.K. Dobbins is fine. We saw Gus Edwards in here and he reports about him being injured. Uh, and then one would think, OK, Justice Hill, is he hurt? We haven't heard anything about him. But then after that, since we get past the injury stage, so nobody's hurt. All the running backs are healthy. Then you think this could be one of those things where it's like, oh, OK, it could just be a look and see. See how Todd Gurley is. See how Todd Gurley, what type of shape he's in. See how he's looking and feeling, especially because, you know, a couple years ago, they said he had arthritis and his, his, his knees ain't, ain't, ain't been the same. But Todd Gurley, we know what Todd Gurley is capable of. And if he came to the Ravens, he would not have to be the number one or even the number two back. We know that he wouldn't be expected to do that. He may get in a little here and there, but it wouldn't be anything uh, too crazy. So one thing that I think about, and I know some other people thought about, oh, man, what kind of impact could this have on Justice Hill? We know Justice Hill is the backup running back. He's a backup to Gus and J.K. And the reason I say he's a backup running back, because Gus and J.K. are like 1A and 1B. So where would this leave Justice Hill? Well, I actually think Justice Hill is safe. He's safe. Why? Because he's a gunner and he's a runner. Now, when he's a gunner, that means he's going for uh, to make that tackle on that punt returner. And then, of course, on kick return on special teams, too. But also on special teams. And again, he got that. He got the end because Harbaugh special teams coach. Special teams is a very valuable point, part of the game. Um, he's also a return man. He's a return man. He can do kick returns. He's done plenty of them before. So with him being involved a lot on special teams, Justice Hill is safe in my opinion. Todd Gurley would have no bearing on Justice Hill whatsoever. And then, of course, now you think about the thing with Eric DaCosta said. Ever since he said that, 
Like, it made a lot of the Ravens' previous visits over the years make a lot of sense, make a lot more sense, because they would bring in some guys that they would have for visits, and we'd be like, whoa, what's the point? Why are they doing that? What? What? what, what for what? And Eric DaCosta said, hey, sometimes we bring in visits just to get some people's names circulating again, just to try to help some people get a job again. Now, with Todd Gurley, he is not necessarily a household name anymore. He used to be, but I just... I don't think this visit would be to get his name out there again because his name is already out there. I mean, he's had visits already with the Lions. Uh, he was obviously on that Super Bowl Rams team from a couple years back. Uh, he went and played for the Falcons last year. So Todd Gurley, he, I, I don't think he really needs his name to be put out there like that. But this could be a move to where the Ravens may just be looking for extra depth. They could be looking for extra depth because you know, we know that these Ravens, they love to run the football. They love to run the football. And the thing with that, one thing that confuses me a little bit is that is this year's offense. Because I know a lot of us expect this year's offense to be different, significantly different. Now, we do expect them to run that ball like crazy, like they always do. But we also expect them to pass the ball. Now, I can't say a lot more, but I think it's going to be a significant difference in the passing game. I think they're going to go to more four and five wide receiver sets, more spread sets. Because, you know, hey, Lamar, he, in, those, in, in that spread, Lamar be doing some damage there. Lamar be doing some damage. And hopefully, too, something else that they can incorporate, along with Lamar being under center more. Because that adds more depth to your playbook. But besides that, hopefully something else that they can incorporate more is the no huddle. The no huddle. The no huddle can be so just crucial. It can be very important. And it can be a, a very powerful thing. So shout out to the no huddle offense. Because I remember they incorporated it last year. But it was just for that Colts game. And then after that, uh, we didn't really see it too often after that. Uh, so hopefully this will be the year that um, they incorporate it that much more. Now, um, something that uh, a point that somebody made, because I, I, I tweeted this uh, about Ty Gurley visiting with the Ravens. Um, my guy, uh, Lamar X Bateman on Twitter, he said that um, an underrated stat here is that Ty Gurley was very good in the past game early in his career. So that could be something that would play a factor to the Ravens possibly signing a Todd Gurley. Now, me, I honestly, I don't think they're going to sign him. I don't. If they do, though, OK, cool. The rich get richer. But I don't I don't think they're going to sign him. But we'll see because <laughs> his chances of signing are higher because <laughs> that comp pick formula that that's way out the window now, man. It's way past that little comp pick deadline formula and all that, so it wouldn't it wouldn't impact that. And you know Ravens, <laughs> you know they love them comp picks, man. But anyway, uh, he has a high chance of uh, signing because of that. Now, um, my guy Dream Chaser seven zero five four, he had a different view on Ty Gurley on why the Ravens could possibly sign him and why Ty Gurley may want to possibly sign with the Ravens. Well, it's, he said it's because he still remembers. Monday Night Football. Ooh, and you remember the Jackson 5 where Lamar Jackson threw five touchdowns. He ran all over the, uh, the, the Rams, too. And that game, I remember going into that game thinking, oh, man, we got to go against Aaron Donald. We got to go against Brock. We got to go against this, this Rams team, Jalen Ramsey. Oh, boy, these boys, that defense is for real, man. They are for real. And Ravens ran all over them and passed all over them, too. They had a field day against those Rams. Uh, and he said, hashtag KD, Kevin Durant mentality. Hashtag can't beat him, join him. So, <laughs> so yeah, man, people are uh, very interested to see what's going on um, with, uh, with Todd Gurley. Very interested to see uh, what the Ravens are doing with Todd Gurley and how this whole thing ends up. Now, I, I wouldn't be opposed to the signing. I, I wouldn't be opposed to it. But, I, I uh, again, for me, I think they, they would just be looking at it as a depth thing. As a depth thing. Because you got your starting two, and then behind them, Justice Hill. 
Uh, so what would it hurt to have Todd Gurley back there too? And again, like I said earlier, we know everything that Todd Gurley is capable of, everything that he has accomplished in this league. He started off his career hot. He started off hot, but then it, he got the big contract. Uh, then I think he only played a year of that contract. Then the Rams said, you know what? Nah, man, we can't do it anymore. And they cut ties. And it, it hasn't been the same since. So anyway, we'll see what happens. Team Keep It Clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And y'all just keep doing, keep going, keep going. If anything you're struggling with, anything you're dealing with, keep going. Keep pushing because you'll be able to get through it. I know sometimes it, it does not seem for a lot of stuff when we struggle with certain stuff. If we're going through certain situations in life, sometimes it seems like, man, I ain't never going to be able to get through this. Trust me, you will, though, man. You will. I promise you. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. And we out.